Well, speaking of California, a place that is now on the brink of becoming the country's first sanctuary state, the Senate bill there, 54, the number is, cleared a major hurdle to passage last week and now just awaits approval from a single committee in California's heavily Democratic Assembly. In other words, it's likely to pass. If it is, that bill would bar federal agents, ICE agents, from all state jails and would block federal agents from accessing state databases related to immigration. It's a big deal. Sandra Hutchins is sheriff of Orange County in California. She says the state's effort to become a sanctuary state is not good policy. It's about sticking it to the administration. Sheriff Hutchins joins us tonight. So, Sheriff, give us the parameters of this. This would basically put California as a state in active opposition to federal immigration law. Is that an overstatement? I don't think that's an overstatement. You know, we've been cooperating with ICE and with the federal government for uh, many, many, many years, very cooperatively, very effectively. And we're talking about serious uh, crimes, serious criminals who have committed a crime. They've been tried here. They've done their time. And we've been notifying ICE of these individuals so that they can go through deportation proceedings. Uh, Senate Bill 54, Senator De Leon uh, said this is the only thing he can think of to do to stop the quote-unquote Trump deportation machine. And that is clearly not an issue. That is not an issue. This is to a totally political issue and it does not take into account the public safety of Californians, which I deeply care about, and that is the real issue. Um, I, I, there's no need for this bill. Things have been working fine without it. The author has stated that this will prevent local law enforcement from doing immigration enforcement on the streets. We never have done immigration enforcement on the streets. We have right. no desire to do that, uh, and we've not been asked to do that by the Trump administration. So this bill would prohibit me as a sheriff from notifying ICE of someone who's in custody for uh, potentially felony, driving under the influence, domestic violence, human trafficking, rape of an unconscious person. I would not be able to notify them. They would be released to the street. And then what will happen is ICE will go out. They're not going to let these people go. They're going to go out and they're going to do search warrants on homes. And then people who are here illegally or undocumented and have not been committed and not committed crimes, they're going to get scooped up too. So they're not. This bill does not do what it says it does. It places additional uh, residents at risk. Law enforcement, uh, pe perhaps people who are here undocumented but have not committed crimes. Um, so ICE is still trying to focus on those, you know, the priority enforcement, those individuals. Right who have re repeatedly committed offenses, re-entered the country, have criminal records, and the fact that we can't notify them and have to release them to the street is not acceptable to me. So, I mean, it's not like illegal aliens in California are having a tough time anyway. California is more illegals than any state by far. I mean, a huge percentage of your population is there illegally. So what was the need that gave rise to this bill, or is it purely a symbolic act aimed at the administration? It's a symbolic act aimed at the administration, in my opinion, but more importantly, it places Californians at risk of being, uh, being uh, impacted by the right. criminals who are getting released to the street. Wait, so, so, wait, I'm, how, wait, so if the state of California can say to the feds, we're, we're just ignoring your law, then why can't Orange County say to the state of California, we're ignoring your law? I mean, would you abide by these terms or would you notify the feds if you apprehended an now, illegal... You know, we've already asked the question, we've asked legal counsel, Cal State Sheriffs, has, uh, which I'm a member, has asked legal counsel, and we would be subject to, uh, we'd be subject to being prosecuted if we didn't follow the state law. Oh. But it puts us in a hor you make a great point, it puts us in a terrible position of violating federal law, not cooperating with federal authorities. Not, and, and we work on task forces with ICE. We work on a sexual, a sexual exploitation task force. This bill would require us to, to report everything we do to the Attorney General of the state of California. These are very great uh, cooperative task forces that, that deal with a lot of crime. Um, our, our registered sex offenders, a lot of those right. are undocumented aliens. Uh, this would this would really impact our ability to fight crime in our in our communities. So California is cool with ignoring federal law, but ignore their laws, and you're in trouble. Good luck, Sheriff Hutchins. We'll welcome you in the East Coast anytime you want to come. Thanks oh, for thank coming you. on tonight. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you.